When you're adding sign-in with Google to your applications, one of the things you'll need to do is create a project within your Google Developer Console where you'll be asked to configure an OAuth consent screen, a secret key, and a client ID. In this video, I'll show you how to do this, and I'll even create all of this with my own backend and make this a real functioning sign-in with Google button. You can get started by going to console.cloud.google.com. Once you're in your console, you can begin by first creating a new project to work with, Give your project a name and don't worry about setting an organization for now if you don't have one. After creating your project, scroll down to view all products and select Google Auth Platform under the management section. Here we'll begin configuring our app information for our OAuth consent screen. And in the overview tab, let's go ahead and select get started and begin by filling out some basic information about your app. Let's give our app a name, then select a user support email. In the audience section, let's select external. And let's go ahead and add in a contact email. These are the emails that will receive information anytime there are changes made to our project. Last, let's agree to the terms and services and hit continue and create. If we ever wanna edit information we just set for our OAuth consent screen, we can do so under the branding tab. Let's go ahead and update this and add in our app domain here. I'll be running this locally, so I'll throw in localhost along with my port number. And let's go ahead and save this change. Now let's go ahead and jump into the audience tab and add in a test user real quick. This is gonna be the user that we'll use to log in during development before we publish our app. Before we create our client ID and secret key, let's jump into data access and set some scopes, which will set permissions we'll request from our users. So in my case, I'll just ask to see the user's email, basic profile information, and an open ID. Okay, so now we can jump into our clients tab and begin creating a new client. For my example, I'm creating a web app, so I'll select web application, and then I'll need to set a JavaScript origin, which will again be the domain name for my app. So in my case, this is gonna be localhost. The authorized redirect URI is the URL that Google will use for handling OAuth redirects after your user is authenticated. How you configure this URL will change depending on your backend and setup. So this is gonna look different for everyone. However, I am gonna be using AppRite as my backend provider. So mine's gonna look something like this. If you wanna try using AppRite, I'll show you how you can get this URL in a few steps from now. After we fill out all the necessary fields, we can click create and we'll see a prompt like this where we can now retrieve our client ID and our client secret. And that's it for setting up our Google Developer Console. Now, if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna show you how I use these credentials to connect to my own backend. And we're also gonna integrate this on the client side so we have a fully functional working sign in with Google button. I've created a project on appright.io, which lets me set up my backend for free. And under the users tab, I'll enable Google as an OAuth provider. To configure Google as an OAuth provider, we'll need to take the credentials we generated in the last step and add them in here. So our client ID would go into the app ID field and in our app secret field, we'll paste in the client secret from Google. And here's where you can find the authorized redirect URI. So if you're using AppRite, you can just go ahead and copy this and paste this into the authorized redirect field within your Google Developer Console. For the client side, I set up a basic application with this sign in with Google button. At the moment, nothing works, it's just static. So what I'm gonna do is add in the functionality to make this work. So if you wanna follow along, you can go ahead and get the source code linked up in the video description and go ahead and follow the instructions in the readme file to get this set up locally. And then you can continue from here. In our code, we have a function that responds to on-click events, and this is where we wanna start the sign-in process. I'll import the AppRite account instance, as well as the OAuth provider enum from the AppRite web SDK. We can then call the create OAuth2 session method, where we'll need to specify the OAuth provider, which is gonna be Google, a success URL, and a redirect URL, which is where we're gonna send the user once sign-in is complete. Now we can test this out by running our server and clicking the sign-in with Google button. If everything is done correctly, you should be logged in and here you should see your name or your email. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel if you wanna see more content like this.